Hey guys, I am a bookkeeper, but today we're going to be talking a little bit about virtual assistants. A virtual assistant is another type of job that is kind of similar or parallel to a bookkeeper. So I'm going to go through what each of those jobs look like and kind of the pros and cons to each. If you're a bookkeeper, would you want to be a virtual assistant? Or if you are a VA, do you want to add bookkeeping services? That kind of thing. So here are my five sections. So first of all, what tasks do they each do? What skills do you need for each one? The pros and cons of each job, how to choose between the two, and then where to start if you want to be a bookkeeper or a VA. So starting out with what tasks are needed for each job. So I'm going to start with a virtual assistant. Throughout the video, I'm going to be using the acronym VA because that is a common way to refer to virtual assistants. So the basis of the job title is it's basically like an assistant job, but the person can work virtually. So they can work from anywhere. They could be in another state. You're utilizing like online platforms for them to do their job. So if you're a business owner and you hire a VA, maybe they are doing email correspondence for you. Maybe they're following up with your customer service. They can manage your calendar, schedule appointments. They can book your travel. So any of these little tasks that you are able to outsource to another person, that can be a VA. And because of that, the job description is more broad. It can include a lot more things and it can be really different from VA to VA. So that is going to be kind of like a theme throughout this video. Okay. And then what does a bookkeeper do? I'm going to go through this quickly because if you watch my channel, you probably already know what a bookkeeper does. I will link a longer video all about this if you want to dig into that more. So a bookkeeper is in charge of helping out with finances for a small business owner. I work in QuickBooks. And so all of my clients transactions feed from the bank into QuickBooks. Then I categorize them into different categories for the purpose of getting ready for taxes. And then bookkeepers can also do invoicing. They can pay bills. They can make bank deposits. They reconcile the bank at the end of the month to make sure everything is matching and correct. Then I pull financial reports and I send them to my client. And I am also virtual. I can work anywhere, but my job consists of finance. Next section is what skills do you need for each? So there is some overlap in the skills in particular. That's why I'm talking about these in conjunction conjunction because a person in the same life circumstance might be, you know, doing each of these jobs. So the similarities is that you are your own business. Usually you are working for multiple like small business owner clients. You can work remotely. There's very little overhead because all you need is a computer and you can do your job. You need to be organized with good time management skills, good workflow organization. You need to be able to meet deadlines and you need to be pretty good at communication because you are communicating with clients. You need to market yourself a bit to, you know, gain these clients to find them. That is the overlap for both of the jobs. Let's talk specifically about bookkeeping. The skills you need, you don't have to be amazing at math, but you have to have a comfort working with numbers. You have to have a lot of attention to detail because at the end of every month, what's in QuickBooks has to match what is in the bank, like to the penny. So there's not really room for error. Or if you do make a mistake, then you need to figure out where it is and go fix it. And then of course you need to learn a bookkeeping program. So in my case, like I said, QuickBooks, the skills for a VA focus very, very heavily on communication because you're there like assisting someone. So you guys need to have really strong communication back and forth. And I've never been a VA, so definitely let me know in the comments if any of these are different than how I am describing. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Morgan. My website is finepoints.biz and I come out with a bookkeeper video every week. So you can subscribe to my channel if that interests you. And I do have a class all about how to start a bookkeeping business. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. It's pretty affordable. And if you're more interested in the VA stuff, then I'm going to point you to Abby Ashley. I will have a link for her program in the description that teaches you how to be a virtual assistant. Now I'm going to go over the pros and cons of being each of these jobs. And of course the pros and the cons are going to vary depending on your opinion and your personality and what you want to do. So I made kind of like this chart and here's what it looks like all filled out, but I'm going to go over each of these points. And so hopefully this can kind of like give you like a compare and contrast of these two jobs. And again, I'm curious to know your opinions in the comments. So definitely leave me a comment about what you think. All right. So starting out with the bookkeeper role, like we talked about, it is more detail and number oriented. Next thing is as a bookkeeper, I believe you can start at a higher rate for money. Okay. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Your hourly rate 
starts out higher and that's because you're more specialized. So you can almost think of a bookkeeper as like a very specialized virtual assistant. So VAs can specialize in a bunch of different things and I'm gonna go over that in a second, but if you're a marketing VA and you know one program really well, maybe that's a really specific niche and you can charge more for that. But as a bookkeeper, you already have this built-in niche, you, you know QuickBooks, and there's kind of an industry standard on how much to be, pay bookkeepers. So I recommend to bookkeepers starting out, charge $40 an hour, you can go up to like $70, $80 an hour, and that is per hour. And as a more experienced bookkeeper, you're gonna to wanna to start charging a flat rate, so a fixed rate. So charge your client $500 every single month, and then that is the value that they are paying to have their bookkeeping done. And if you can work a little bit faster, then you're gonna have a higher hourly rate. The time it takes you might change a little bit, but overall, in my opinion, you're gonna be making a higher income starting out as a bookkeeper compared to a VA. Next pro for a bookkeeper is it is a needed occupation and I think there is a lot of job stability. So if I get a bookkeeping client and they hire me, that person is most likely going to stick with me for years and years. In my experience, the first thing that business owners outsource is their bookkeeping. So before they you know, get an office assistant or get someone to write their website or all these other tasks, they know that they're gonna to have to pay taxes and everyone has to pay taxes. So they wanna have an organized system for their bookkeeping. And if you're worried about the advances in AI recently, and if that's going to take over these industries, um, I have a video all about that. It is called, is it a good time to start a bookkeeping business? And I think it also has AI in the title if you wanna search that. In my opinion, bookkeeping isn't going away. It is changing, definitely. But people still want humans to help them out. Like, I don't think business owners in the next 10 years are going to shoulder all that financial work by themselves with the help of AI. And then a couple cons to being a bookkeeper, there might be a technical learning curve. So you are learning QuickBooks, it's gonna take a little time to figure that out. Whereas if you are maybe doing simpler tasks as a VA, you're scheduling appointments, you're running someone's calendar, maybe you already know how to do that. And isolation. So I think as a bookkeeper, you work alone more. Uh, you're more independent. You might get lonely, there's less like human interaction. For me, this does not bother me. I actually like it because I'm able to save up my introvert energy and then I can you know, be friendly with people outside of when I'm working. But definitely think through that as you are choosing between these two jobs. All right, then let's go over to the virtual assistant column. So first thing I put was versatility. So instead of being so specialized as a bookkeeper, there is a variety of tasks that you might be doing. Again, you might like that or you might just be like, oh, I like bookkeeping and just sticking with one thing and really learning that. So that is probably a personal preference. Next, the income is more varied. So I would say there's less standardization for VAs because like I said, they can be all over the board. You can have someone working minimum wage or you can have one super duper specialized as like a tech VA who is running really complicated programs. Usually virtual assistants are hourly, so you don't have as much flexibility with that fixed rate I was talking about with bookkeeping. As a VA, I put more options. Again, this is kind of a theme. So when we talk about more options too, there might be more competition because it is a less specialized role. So, you know, I could be a VA, my neighbor could be a VA, my mom friend could be a VA, depending on, you know, who they're marketing to and what their skills are. I would say a pro to being a VA is that you can decide what you like. So you can try out different things and then you can niche down and specialize. So maybe you're like, I love a sauna. I'm gonna do everything in a sauna. That's gonna be my, like, my go-to workflow program. Or maybe you're like, I'm really good at Facebook ads. I'm gonna be a virtual assistant for people and just do run their Facebook ads. And I know how to do that. I know how to make a lot of money doing Facebook ads. So you can kind of test the waters and do different things. Whereas with bookkeeping, there's a little bit of variety. Like I can choose my bookkeeping services, but if you're gonna spend all the time learning to be a bookkeeper, you probably aren't gonna to wanna to deviate from it that much. And last thing on the VA list is client support. So in contrast to that isolation I talked about as a bookkeeper, I think you're gonna be working with more humans as a VA if that appeals to you. I will say for both of these jobs, they require continuous learning. Again, that can be a pro or a con. At this point in my life, it feels a little bit like a con if I'm always trying to like keep up with the newest technology. 
but it does keep things from getting kind of boring. Maybe you're sitting there thinking, how do I pick? Which one should I be, a bookkeeper or a virtual assistant? A couple questions to ask yourself, which one aligns more with like your interests and your passions? Which skill set is more interesting to you or do you already have a skill set in something? Maybe you already know a little bit, bit of QuickBooks and that's gonna help you be a bookkeeper. How important is that stable income to you? Like do you have kind of like a safety net and you're just trying to make a little bit of extra money? Or is it really important that you have a steady income every month? And then maybe what are some of your goals for the next five years? Do you have like, are you using this as a jumping off point to somewhere else? So how to choose for the bookkeeper, I summarized it as, do you like more repetitive tasks? Do you like numbers and analytics? And do you like working mostly alone? And then for a VA, do you like the customer support side of things, helping people out? Do you like that variety? And do you want like a little more person interaction during your day? And I promised I would point you in the direction of where to start. So again, I'm going to have Abby linked in the description box. She has a whole YouTube channel also that you can learn a lot more about being a VA. And if you heard about her from me, definitely use my link if you want to purchase her course because that gives me credit for it, which helps out my channel. If you're leaning the more bookkeeper route, I have a free masterclass that's called Is Bookkeeping Right For You? Um, I'm going to leave that in my description box linked as well. And then you're going to find tons of stuff about bookkeeping on my channel. So I have that free masterclass and then I have a checklist about how to start your bookkeeping business. And I think I already mentioned my course that goes over in a month, how to start your bookkeeping business. So I hope you found this helpful. Give me a comment about what other videos you'd like to see, and I will talk to you again next week. Take care.